The report is 40 pages. The conclusion determined the final hearing and dismissal of the application for protection was conducted with fairness and in accordance with all applicable laws. In short, the judge did nothing wrong. I think what the report shows is that the legislature intended for restraining orders to be a remedy that is available to victims who go to court on their own. And what has happened over decades is that the courts have, in essence, rewritten the law and added many requirements that make it much more difficult for victims to access this remedy. The report noted the woman in this case only provided evidence of physical abuse from 2016 and did not provide enough proof to meet the standard of a credible present threat. She was shot 26 days after the final order was dismissed. I think the judge needs to be held accountable and she's not going to be. The victim's mother points to the temporary restraining order granted by the same judge in September, saying it was working. Now, her daughter needs a brain operation. Her overall mood is, is okay. She, she's communicative with her hands and, and eyes. The report outlines seven areas of improvement for the courts that include increasing awareness of Supreme Court opinions in protection order cases and a review of the forms used to apply for protection to clarify legal standards to qualify for court order protection. Live in studio, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.